Hey friends, welcome back to GMC. It is 642. This is a live look out in Ferrisita this morning. This is such a beautiful shot. Thanks to our Viera wireless camera. You can see some of the cloud cover, but the sun most assuredly peeking through. We're checking in with our storm tracker 13 meteorologist Marty Venachinkwe for a look at our weekend forecast. Good morning, Marty. Good morning, Ryan. It looks so green out there too. It's a pretty shot for sure. Here's a view from our peak internet camera up on top of Gold Hill in Woodland Park. A bunch of motorcycles up there for the Veterans Motorcycle Rally. Leaving Woodland Park at 10 o'clock this morning. Should have some pretty good weather for that. So hopefully they can wrap things up before any showers or thunderstorms arrive, which will probably happen at some point later on this afternoon. Right now, 50s and 60s are commonly found at lower elevations in eastern Colorado. We have a mixture of 40s and 50s over the mountains and high mountain valleys. All areas down to 46 and divide this morning. So a little bit crisp up there in the mountains. Future cast showing a good bit of cloud cover throughout the day today across most of Colorado. Notice some showers and thunderstorms developing primarily over the mountains. And if we're going to have them over the plains, most likely along or south of the Arkansas River. Doesn't mean we couldn't get a shower or a little thunder elsewhere, but the cool air that's in place along and north of the Arkansas River is probably going to limit the coverage of showers and thunderstorms today in those areas. Highs only in the 70s to lower 80s in all of eastern Colorado, and we'll likely only hit 60 in Leadville today, and that's a just barely kind of thing. I'll look for 60s in Alamosa, maybe lower 70s for Salada and for Gunnison, so a comfortably cool day. The storms that develop today aren't likely to be severe, but as has been the case with many thunderstorms recently, if you get the right cell overhead, some nice downpours could occur for at least a short time to go along with some gusty wind and some frequent lightning and thunder. But you can see as we head through the evening hours, we'll have a scattering of these both over the mountains and then over extreme southern Colorado. Not a lot of stuff here going on even over our local mountain communities, but some isolated storms are still a possibility, so we're not ruling them out by any stretch. And they could continue across the area at times through about 8 or 9 o'clock. Then the sun goes down, everything else starts to wind down. But we end up with a good bit of cloud cover through the night. What you don't see on this map is the potential anyway for a little bit of patchy low cloud cover or maybe even a little bit of fog for lower elevations in eastern Colorado. Is there is going to be some water in the atmosphere, and we're going to get kind of cool tonight. And so those two things alone could, could force at least a little bit of condensation and maybe a little bit of that cloud cover that I mentioned. So we'll end up in the 50s in much of eastern Colorado tonight. Leadville drops off to 39. Uh, most of our local mountain communities probably end up in the 40s once again, and I think that'll be true for the next several nights. Uh, we were trying to get the sunrise this morning, and some pesky lower clouds kept jumping in front of the camera. As seen from our Colorado lottery camera up on top of Cheyenne Mountain this morning. But kind of cool nonetheless to see the clouds floating around out there in front of the camera and, and some of the brighter colors that you see out there on the distance. Right now, it's again looking mostly cloudy out there. And I think we'll be tracking some warmer air eventually. We're probably still going to have some scattered storms around off and on for the next several days. Some areas more than others, mainly over the mountains is the way it's looking. And we'll talk about that in our extended forecast coming up soon. Riley, back to you.